Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to show you the moment values for the fixed ended beam. We can see here we have fixed ended beam where both ends of the beams are fixed. You can see here this end of the beam is fixed and also this end of the beam is fixed. Such type of beam are known as the fixed ended beam and we will find or we will show that what are the moment values at these fixed points for the beams with different loading conditions. So it will be easy to remember these values and then you can apply these values into your practical life to find out the moment for different loading conditions. For example, the first beam, this is a, a beam, fixed ended beam, let's suppose, and of length, total length of L total length of L and there is a pointed or concentrated load of P acting at the midpoint of the load. So this load is acting at the half so L by 2 will be here and L by 2 will be here. So this is L by 2. So we will have some movements at the fixed end is fixed support. So fixed support have the property that it can take the movement. So what is the movement value here at this point? And also what will be the moment value here at this point is it is a symmetric uh, type of beam where the load is acting at the center. So the moment value here will be PL by 8 and also here it will also be the same PL by 8. Where P is the load acting on the beam at the midpoint, L is the total length of the beam and 8 is the coefficient. So we can find out the moment here at both ends with this formula if you hold the load acting at the center of the beam. The second one is when the load P is acting not at the center but it is distance of A from the left end and at a distance of B from the right end. So then the moment values will not be the same. Here M and here M will not be the same as we have seen in the above formula. So now the moment value will be equal to the in this case the moment will be P A square B divided by L square at this end at this end the moment will be equal to the P B square A divided by L square so this will be the moment values at both ends of the beam when the load P is acting at a distance of A from the left end and a distance of B from the right end when there is a uniformly distributed load acting on the fixed ended beam, for example W is a uniformly distributed load acting all over the length of the beam, so in this case the moment values will also be the same and it will be equal to the moment at this point will be equal to the WL square by 12, where L is the total length of the beam, here it will also be WL square by 12. So W is the uniformly distributed load here in the unit of kilonewton per meter for example it will be 2 kilonewton or 3 kilonewton and so on and L is the length of the beam and 12 is the constant value here so this formula is used to find out the moment when there is a uniformly distributed load all over the length of the fixed ended beam the fourth category will be if your load is a pointed or concentrated load but this load acts at two different points and at same distance for example P P and this load acting at a distance of L by 3 here it is also acting at a distance of L by 3 and it is also acting at a distance of L by 3 so these two loads are acting at the same distance so in this case the moment value will be different in this case the moment value will be equal to the 2 PL by 9 at one end at the other end it will be also equal to the 2 PL by 9 because there is a symmetry in the beam so what will be the another case if I draw the uniformly varying load for example a triangular load on the beam if we have triangular load on a fixed ended beam here W which start from 0 here and it will be the maximum at this point so if a W load is acting on the beam and the L is the length of the total beam so the movement here at both ends will be different 
it will be equal to the WL squared by 30 at this end and here it will be WL squared by 20. Here W is the uniformly varying load and L is the length of the beam and 30 is the constant here for this beam. The last one will be if the load, if the uniformly distributed load is acting only up to the half of the length of the beam, L by 2, and this half of the length of the beam, there is no load acting on the other half of the beam. So in this case, the moment value will be different and the left end, it will be equal to the 11 WL squared by 192. While at the right end, it will be, the moment value will be 5 WL squared dividing by 192. So in this case, 5, 5 and 192 are the constant where W is the uniformly varying, uniformly distributed load here acting on the half of the beam and L is the total length of the beam. So this is the way how to get the moment values when there are different types, when there are different types of load acting on the fixed ended beam. So you can remember these values and you can easily find your moment. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.